weather. A forecast to still keep on top of as our active weather pattern continues bringing rounds of inclement weather into the West Coast, specifically through California as we've been seeing that atmospheric river set up. But look at how active the Pacific is. A lot of systems here cranking in rounds of moisture, rounds of energy into the West Coast. So this is the plume of moisture that we're tracking to move through tomorrow, bringing mainly rain to valley locations and snow above 4,500 feet. So timing that out for us, it's mainly dry into the overnight hours, but this starts to move in out of the southwest early tomorrow morning during the morning commute. Can't rule out maybe some wet flakes in the valley locations, but again, I think roadways just remain wet. Our temperatures are just too mild to see anything in the way of snow accumulation. But above 4,500 feet, the snow will be piling up, and it'll be really heavy snow at times through the day tomorrow. This is a good slug of moisture moving in our direction. This continues through Monday evening, and then we get another lull in the action through the bulk of the day on Tuesday before our next wave moves through Tuesday evening into the overnight hours into early Wednesday morning and it could be cold enough that we see some slushy accumulations maybe on grassy surfaces patio furniture that sort of thing but I still think even into Wednesday morning temperatures will be mild enough to keep the roads just wet rather than seeing snow accumulate causing any problems for that Wednesday morning commute we'll continue to keep an eye on it for our mountain area ski resorts should benefit from this moisture pushing in anywhere from about four to around eight inches of snow on the way. There could be some higher totals getting closer to 10 inches or even a foot of snow above 6,000 feet into the central mountain. So this could make for some tricky travel winter driving conditions certainly through the day tomorrow into Tuesday as well for those mountain passes. Monday through the day in the valley count on the wet weather but also count on the wind gusting up to around 25 30 miles per hour once again. So even though our temperatures are mild we will still feel the chill coming in from the wind that gets a little bit gusty. Magic Valley forecast tomorrow again some wet snow mixing in with rain but ultimately roadways should remain wet into our central mountains. I showed you that special weather statement posted by the National Weather Service saying plan for winter driving conditions and accumulating snow on those mountain paths. Passes, Idaho 21, uh, one of those areas that is a concern through the next 24 hours. West Central Mountains looking for snow to pile up. Highs in the mid 30s tomorrow. And for the Treasure Valley, highs will be anywhere from about 5 to 7 degrees above seasonal averages. Uh, really, it's just the rain and the cloud cover that's keeping it this cool because it could be even 45, closer to 50 degrees for a high tomorrow if we didn't have the wet weather. That southwest flow aloft continues through the week ahead, and that will keep our temperatures above average. Five to 10 degrees above our seasonal averages and then into the end of the week maybe some quieter weather expected it's next weekend that we look for the next round of inclement weather to push in and as I'm looking at the long range forecast taking it out to the third week of January it looks like the above average temperatures are expected to continue or favored to continue mm -hmm. as well as the above average precipitation so at least that means no inversion. <laughs> That's true. We don't like our January inversions, but with the, the normal high being 38, I mean, we're staying a good chunk above a that. A good chunk above that, 10 to even 15 degrees. And I won't rule it out this week that maybe we even hit 50 degrees for a high in Boise. Wow. A day or two. So. In January. Spring gardening. Yeah, it's early January thaw this year.